Twitter is still massive with over 300 million active users all over the world. Today, we'll look at how you can grow your startup on Twitter in 2022, how you can do Twitter marketing and win on Twitter. And I promise you, there's lots of growth potential on Twitter. This is Raw Startup. I'm the founder of Vivino, the world's largest wine app and wine community with almost 60 million users all over the world. In the early days of Vivino, Twitter was actually part of our growth and Twitter actually helped us get Vivino off the ground. Now that is many years ago, so I brought an expert to figure out how to grow on Twitter in 2022. Stefan is a growth expert and has some incredible successes on Twitter. He's like a professor in Twitter. I wrote master thesis on Twitter marketing for Master in Communication here in Gothenburg, Sweden. Wow, not bad. We do have a professor in the house. Let's hear what success means on Twitter. I think a successful or viral tweet should go above like 1 million impressions and or around like 10,000 retweets or, or likes. I've been lucky enough to have gone viral a few times with my own music Twitter account. And I've also been lucky enough to get a few Twitter big like personas on Twitter to follow me. Post Malone, Jimmy Kimmel, Deadline or Spotify. And that have helped me gain contacts and also get like the important bump in the Twitter algorithm. In the video, we will cover some very specific tactics and strategies to help you grow on Twitter and get your startup out to the world. With that, let's get going. Number one, don't force it. Remember, Twitter is a social network. It's not like a QVC commercial where you can just sell stuff. You have to engage. You can't just shout, buy, buy, buy. You engage in the right way and they will buy, but you have to do it right. Yes, I think it's very important that you don't force any social network. It doesn't work if you're not going to engage in the community. Uh, I think brands fail when they only retweet like self-promotion or and expect an audience to just find them. Uh, it's like the alien quote, in space, no one can hear you scream. I think many startups have asked me to like boost their socials, but they don't really know why and they are not really interested in engaging in them themselves. So if you're not going to use Twitter on the bus, the toilet, in the bed, it's not going to work. So you have to have a reason to be on Twitter. So why should you be on Twitter? Because there's a massive amount of audience there. It's so easy to just tweet a couple of tweets per day and get an amazing amount of followers and impressions. Number two, find your audience. That might sound a little basic, but we have some great tools for that. Finding your audience is a bit different on Twitter than just finding your audience on Google or Facebook or Instagram. It's going to be specific to Twitter. SparkToro is not a brand that I'm affiliated with, but I love it. I think that software is really great. Uh, you can find out what your audience is talking about, who they follow on Twitter, even what they listen to, what podcasts they listen to, uh, what YouTube personas they follow. I really recommend that. Pretty incredible tool. And remember, no matter what you're talking about on Twitter, there is an audience for that. You just have to find it. Number three, analyze your competition. Twitter is open and an incredible source of information about your competition and about what your competition is talking about. On Twitter, most of what you do is totally open and that can be pretty valuable. Yes, analyzing your competition is also very important. Don't forget to look what they do and get inspired, uh, what they like, what they follow. It's easy to just go in at their account and see what they've done to gain followers and visibility. Basically, look at the competition, look at what they do, and try and figure out what works for them. There are tools that can tell you exactly what the competition is doing on Twitter. There are two tools that I like to use when analyzing my competition. Social bearings It's very easy, it's free, which is really nice. And then there's Circle Boom. It's a paid tool but it's totally worth it. It has helped me really understand what my competition is doing and inspired me to do basically the same stuff. Number four, forget about hashtags. Hashtags are old school and less important. I mean, who uses hashtags? Who uses hashtags which aren't like a brand thing? And who like searches for hashtags? Yes, hashtags are very overrated when it comes to marketing. I think hashtags are important as a communications mean, like you can easily insert hashtags 
tags and, and put a subject line on your tweet. But look, for promotion's sake, it's not that important. Like looking through a person like Elon Musk, he uses like no hashtags. Oops, looks like I'm kind of old school. Might have to change my strategy here. Okay, good. We got that out of the way. Then what should we be tweeting about? I think that you should talk to people. You should share articles. You should definitely talk about a brand, ask questions. And when you've like settled in, I think sharing your opinion and promoting your brand is going to work. Number five, engage in conversation. This seems obvious. After all, Twitter is a social network. If you engage, you are visible. If you're not, you're not visible. It's so important to join in into the conversation, post in threads, engage. Okay, let's make this totally clear. If you engage, you're visible. If you don't engage, you are invisible. I've tweeted at like semi big celebrities and big names and out of the blue, sometimes they just respond and interact with me. And thanks to that, I built really good contacts and again, like gained momentum on Twitter. Sometimes you just get lucky, but you have to engage to get lucky. Number six, follow 30 to 50 people a day. Sure, it'll be some work, but it will be worth it. Following people on Twitter, Super important. Uh, I think that 30 or 50 people each day, uh, I would consider uh, good. I think that pushing it above 50, if you have a new account, that's gonna alert the Twitter algorithm that you might not do this organically. So I would recommend just keeping it down to 50, but then you can follow as how many as you want and ignore that it's gonna look a bit off in the beginning. You're gonna have like, you're following a lot, and you're not getting that amount of followers back. So the ratio is going to be off. Just ignore that. It's going to work out in the end. Not something you do forever, but for a period of time. My successful accounts, I've just every day followed, followed, followed like crazy in the beginning and do that for a month or two. That really pays off. How long does this take to do? Oh, it takes like a minute, I would say. If you analyze your competitors and look at who they follow and just copy that list, it takes a minute or two. Look at your competitors, uh, see who they follow, make a list, and then just follow those people every day. Number seven, use multiple accounts. Just to be clear, if you do this right, this is not against the rules. Twitter even owns a product called TweetDeck, and the main purpose of that tool is to have multiple accounts. This could be a really good way to test a sub-niche, maybe something you don't want on your main account. It's smaller, you want a specific account just for that. Sometimes people forget it's like totally up to Twitter's standards. You can use multiple accounts if you can like provide great content, but don't want to dedicate all your ideas to one main account. Maybe you want to branch off and test something else. Create more accounts. It's allowed. Twitter officially supports it. It's very easy to manage your accounts. TweetDeck, which is Twitter's official platform for using multiple accounts is awesome and great. So. Highly recommend that. This is the full list of strategies and tactics. Try them out and build your following on Twitter. If you want more content just like this, please consider pressing like and subscribe so you won't miss any future video. Thank you very much for watching Raw Startup. Now stop watching, go build something.